The film begins after the earth was totally destroyed. As the people became very advanced and they start spending their lives on different planets. We see a man named Damon and also his daughter C. They used to live in a spaceship due to the destruction of the earth. Their financial situation was in very bad condition. C's mother died when C was very young. Damon takes care of her. He is actually a professional treasure hunter. Damon was given a task to bring the precious gems from the alien planet. Those gems were called Oracle. He has to go to the Queen's lair in search of gems. But they were on a dangerous planet. They were present on an alien planet. Damon has no other way to overcome the shortage of money. To make his financial condition good he signs the contract. These gems were precious in the market. Father and the daughter come to the green moon risking their lives, but their landing pod malfunctions as a result they land somewhere else instead of their destination. Fortunately, they were unharmed. They get shocked when they come out of their spaceship. The moon forest environment looked very beautiful as it was the first experience of sea, that's why she wanted to live in that environment. But it was a very dangerous place for humans. They have to take the oxygen cylinder for breathing. They wander through the woods in search of gems. Damon notices a location while walking, it was the location where the precious gems were buried. As Damon was professional in this work, he takes out the gem carefully, the gem was precious and beautiful. In the market, it was valued in millions. They have got the rare gem from which they can clear all their loans. After getting the diamond, C asks her father to return back from there. But Damon says, this is not enough. We have to find even bigger and precious gems from the queen's lair, as it is a part of my contract. That's why we have to go there to bring more valuable gems. If we possess those gems, our lives will be changed forever. We will be at ease for the rest of our life. You can't imagine how valuable these gems are. But if we move from here it will take months to come back again. That's why they move ahead in search of the gems. Moving forward, they hear the voice of robbers in the forest, they also came here in search of the gems. But they have been stranded here for a long time. The robbers also know about Damon's presence. Their plan was to kill Damon and escape in his spaceship by hijacking it. The robbers come and corner Damon. To save his life Damon gives them an offer, he says, if we kill the aliens together, later we can divide those gems between us. Afterwards, we can go from here safely. Only Damon knows the exact location of the gems. This was a huge deal for the robber's leader Ezra. He accepts the deal as he was greedy. But Damon's plan was to kill them on the way with help of C. When Damon gets a chance on the way, he takes them on gunpoint with his daughter's help, later Damon snatches Ezra's gun from him. Damon doesn't run, but he tries to rob Ezra. Ezra says to Damon, you are doing wrong don't do this. Now Damon has become very greedy and he wants to kill Ezra. But C forbids her father. Damon does not listen to anyone because he has become very greedy. Damon shoots at Ezra's companion. In return, he also shoots at Damon. Due to it, they both die instantly. Only C and Ezra were the only survivors. C flees from there as she was very much petrified by Ezra. She has lost her father with this incident. Now she has no one in this world. C sits in her spaceship immediately. She tries to start the spaceship. But her ship was damaged, and she was now badly stuck, if she tries to escape, Ezra would kill her. With no other option, she stays inside the spaceship. But for how many days she can live here? Her food supplies have run out a few days later. Ezra also goes inside her ship after finding it. C shoots him and makes him injured. Later, she points the gun at him and warns him. As Ezra was injured, he asks for the medical box from C. Because any wound can be dangerous on this planet. But C wants something else. She wanted to take her father's revenge on Ezra by killing him. Ezra says, if you kill me, you will be not able to go from here as I know each and every way of this forest. If the aliens find you, they will kill you. Ezra says, if you help me, I will also help you in return, then we will follow your father's plan together. I also know how to find gems. Think about it, 
after ending me, you will be stuck here. C asks him, why should I trust your words? Because you have killed my father. Ezra makes her remember that her father started first. He died as a result of greed. C thinks and understands what he said. She doesn't end him and changes her intention. She also gives him the medical box and later Ezra cures himself. They move for the queen's lair but C was still suspicious about Ezra. She was following him aiming the gun on him. Moving forward in their journey, C understands Ezra is not a bad person. He even is a good-hearted human. Trust between them was gradually growing. Unfortunately, Ezra's wound became more infectious due to the environment, if he does not cure it as soon as possible, his whole body would be infected. Ezra goes to the villagers and asks for a medical box in return for gems. But the villagers' intention was something else. They offer Ezra even more valuable gems. But they wanted C in return. As they do not have any females to propel their generation. Their generation will be lost if they do not act fast. C runs from there before she goes into their hands. She was wandering in the forest alone. It was difficult for her to survive alone. The hardships for her were amplifying. Her oxygen cylinder was also about to end. But moving forward she discovers Ezra in terrible condition as the villagers refuse to give him the medical box. The infection was gradually spreading into his body. There was only one solution for this infection. Ezra has to amputate his arm. C feels very bad seeing Ezra in that condition. She helps him in cutting his arm. Ezra sacrifices his arm by bearing the pain. The next morning, they move to their destination. They talk to each other on the way. They share their moments in life and become good friends. By night, those two find the group of mercenaries for whom Damon had to work. They were unaware of the weapons possessed by the aliens. They also discover the aliens have imprisoned some dangerous prisoners in a glass box. They know that they were nothing in front of them. Ezra assumes Damon's identity, and in exchange for his talents, he bargains for a spaceship that will take C and him into orbit. There we see an argument between them. Later, their leader agrees and they start working without wasting any time. As Ezra has only one hand, he was unable to retrieve the gem successfully. In fact, he fails in both attempts, which makes the guard suspicious. To try and salvage the situation, C takes the reins. She tries her hand at retrieving the gem but she also fails. Before the mercenary can get his colleague's attention, Ezra and C attack the man and kill him. Now they don't have any place to hide his dead body. Before they could kill them, they escape from there. Now aliens was chasing them. Now Ezra gets badly injured. They don't have any way to escape. Ezra asks C to hijack the alien spaceship and escape alone. C disagrees with him, she does not want to abandon him. As there was a bond between them? Anyhow, Ezra agrees to let her move alone. Ezra was fighting alone with them even though he was injured. Suddenly, C changes her decision and goes to aliens camp to bring the medical box. She notices that the captives were fighting with the aliens. Sensing an opportunity C brings the medical box to Ezra. They travel to the alien spaceship after administering the medicine. They escape from there starting the spaceship. However, they did not get the item for which they came here. Because of greediness. We get the med-